So if you're president of the United States, you get a lot of stuff. And it was an article in Men's Health Magazine. Um, and it lists all the perks. I just want to run a few of them down for you. You might not know that. Obviously, the president gets uh, a plane, big plane. And, and one of the most interesting parts of my career uh, was I got to ride in that plane when I was researching in the United States of Trump when, with uh, Donald Trump. And it, it's a fascinating thing. So they get the big plane. Then they get to live in a White House, which is amazingly uh, luxurious. And, and every time I've been in there, my mouth just goes, wow. I mean, if there's any place in the world that I'd want to live, it would be the White House. I don't want to be president. I just want to live there. All right. Then they get their own vacation home, Camp David. Eh, Camp David. I'd rather be in Malibu someplace, but that's all right. Um, then they get an executive chef to cook all their meals at any time of the day or night. So they got two or three rotating chefs. But if you're hungry at 4 a.m., hey, here it is. You get an omelet. Uh, then they get uh, hired help. A hundred people work directly for the president, including maids, cooks, butlers, plumbers, engineers, florists, anything you want. Um, you get uh, the, a button on your desk the Resolute Desk in the Oval Office. You push that button, people instantly appear. Yes, Mr. President. So one of the funny parts in the United States of Trump is that Trump used that button a lot because he always wanted Diet Coke, up to 24 Diet Cokes a day. That button, Trump's finger might, must be muscular for pressing that button. Um, he gets uh, $400,000 a year in salary, the president does, um, and he gets a pension. Barack Obama last year got $208,000 in a pension. All right, so this is a good gig. This presidential thing, this is good. And you get a vacation allowance, take your family anywhere you want, get a clothing allowance, get nice suits and ties and shirts. Uh, it's a good gig. Okay, so the media is absolutely thrilled this week. Uh, and by the way, there's been a lot of... Um, press about the decline of Fox News, the ratings decline there, and it's pretty serious. But MSNBC and CNN, the direct competitors, they're doing all right now. But once Biden takes over and there's no Trump, although they'll hate Trump every night anyway, no matter what, Trump's going to be a private citizen, they'll still hate him. Their ratings are going to go down too. So they're all going down because it's boring now. Um, except for us. We're going up a lot. So the media is now openly rooting for Joe Biden. They have a vested interest in his success. And they're not going to say anything bad about him because they worked with the Democratic Party to get Biden elected. You need to know that, which is why our broadcast becomes more important. Number one, we're not ideological. We're fact-based. And you need to know the facts. And you ain't going to get them from the network or cable news agencies. OK, roll a tape on wanting Biden to succeed. I am truly excited to watch Joe Biden and Kamala Harris become the next president and vice president of the United States. The moment is meeting Biden where he's always been. Now, luckily, the current administration is only the current administration for another five days, because next Wednesday, the keys to the country will be handed over to President-elect Joe Biden. Now, I used uh, Colbert because he's the number one late night show, but his ratings are abysmal. I mean, they're terrible if you compare them to Jay Leno and Johnny Carson. I mean, they're not even close. But the reason Colbert is beating Fallon and Kimmel, whose ratings are beyond belief low, is because he bashed Trump every night and he hates Trump. Now that's going to go away to some extent. He's still going to bash and hate him, but it doesn't matter anymore because he's not there. Where do you see what happens to Colbert? OK, so is there a mandate for Joe Biden? This is the most important question of uh, the week, of this inaugural week. Is there a mandate? He won by seven million votes. Now, you can say there was shenanigans and some fraud. And I believe there was, but not at that level, not at 7 million, okay? So Biden wins 7 million more votes than Donald Trump in a popular, and obviously beats him in the electoral. In the United States, there are 3,006 
counties. So I live in Nassau County, and you live in some county. That's the way we're broken down. Donald Trump won 2,497 counties throughout the USA. 84% of the counties went for Trump. Biden won just 16%. Now, when Obama won the second time, Biden won 22% of the counties. So Biden lost 6% from Obama. And the source of all this is the Brookings Institute. So when you have um, Donald Trump winning 84% of all the counties in America, that doesn't bode well for Joe Biden. So Biden won all the cities which are falling apart. I mean, you, you give me the city, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, Washington, Atlanta, it's... Armageddon, San Francisco, Seattle, Portland. But Biden won all the votes there. And that's why he is president. Well, Joe Biden is going to be president, and we may be in for some economic uncertainty. That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. The only company I recommend is American Hartford Gold. So please call them right now and tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Now, since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold itself up over 40%, silver up over 60%. So don't wait. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. 